The venues are ready, athletes are arriving, and thousands of workers and volunteers have been sealed off in a bubble. Yes, the 2022 Winter Olympics in Beijing will be like no other. They like to use these events as sort of a, a way to show their national pride, a way to show off what they are doing. China believes they will put on the best Olympics. The event is historic. And while many nations, including the U.S., are diplomatically boycotting these games, the athletes will still compete for their home countries. The athletes on Team USA have our full support. We will be behind them 100% as we cheer them on from home. We will not be contributing to the fanfare of the games. China has confidence to the world to create a safe, safe, and safe Olympic Games. And to accomplish China's vision of what's safe, Xi's government has implemented a closed loop, a bubble-like environment that will make these Winter Games the world's largest sporting event with the tightest COVID requirements since the beginning of the pandemic. This is China's closed loop. It includes airport terminals, training venues, and train stations. Sort of like a Mars bubble in a science fiction movie, but on Earth. And if you're among the group of athletes and journalists, you're in it from the moment you arrive until the moment you leave China. Unfortunately, we can't get out of the fences, we understand, because of COVID. But still, it's uh, convenient to walk as less as possible and ride easily on your bike. Even before reaching Beijing, participants have to upload their vaccination card and monitor their temperature on an app. I have a little button that I push here that will tell me I put in my temperature, I put in my health for the day. Uh, I, there's a little, even a little thing you can check that says, you know, has a list of symptoms. You can check no to all, so you don't have to sit there and go through no, 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 no. Then 72 hours before reaching Beijing, take a PCR test. Upload that. China is allowing unvaccinated participants to enter the country, with the caveat of having to quarantine for 21 days. I think the people who will be the quote unquote spectators or fans at these events will be the volunteers and the hotel workers and the bus drivers and the taxi drivers, whoever else is inside the bubble with you and doesn't happen to be working at that time. Beijing International Airport will have terminals dedicated exclusively for participants. All those who arrive there for the games will have to go through temperature checks and coronavirus tests done by workers and volunteers dressed in hazmat suits. Then they will be shuttled to the Olympic Village. There are three cities where the games are being held, with Beijing hosting the majority of the events. Organizers say participants can move between venues, but only using designated transport. And after the closing ceremony, held at Beijing's National Stadium, all foreign participants are expected to do the same gather their belongings, head to the airport, and leave the country. China's aim to wall off athletes and others from the rest of the country will test its zero-COVID policy at a time when Omicron is spreading rapidly. All of those layers of things are just a little thicker for Beijing than they were in Tokyo. Beijing just is even more paranoid about making sure that nothing gets into the country and that nothing from this Olympics will somehow trigger some kind of an outbreak in Beijing. I think that is the mortal fear that China has, is that somehow Omicron's going to enter through the Olympics and sweep through Beijing. And so they're going to do everything they can to make sure that that doesn't happen.